Like the, the laws of God. That's why we are a destroyed people. We, you tell, you tell the, we tell our people, don't do X. We are gonna do Y, and we are gonna do it anyway. We try to teach our people what the laws of God are. They don't want to hear it, and that's why our, that's why we in the state that we are in right now. Okay, give me Leviticus 19, and uh, because you know, and uh, you know what I want. Because the problem is this: we take we take these laws of God as if it's hatred. Hey, listen, we can't judge anything. The Most High God is going to judge the simple behind if you don't change, if you don't turn back to the laws that you commands of God. We, this, we out here to, because we love our people. Do you think we do we we out is our, we can pay for this? No, we out here because we love our people and we trying to. Wake our people up to the fact that they are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Oh, that's right. But yet, that our people think that's an evil message. You start, you know why you start thinking it's an evil message? Because the minute you start giving the laws, that's when they don't want to hear it no more. Right. When you, as soon as you start showing the errors of their way, that's when they walking away. Come on. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. You see what the scripture say. But isn't that one of the biggest problems that we have in our community? We hate one another. Right. It's black on black crime is at an alarming rate. We kill each other every day. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's, there's a murderous spirit on our people because they don't want, they, when we come out here, they think that this is evil. How is it evil if we say, brother, marry that woman and have it and stop, stop whoring her out? They, 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 uh, there's no such thing as boyfriend and girlfriend. Right? That's evil. What then when we show the law or we show the, the scripture, Hebrews 13 and 4, right? Get that real quick. We're gonna come back to that in a minute. When we give you that, you still say, oh well, I, I don't I'm gonna hey, I'm still gonna be smashing. Yeah. But that's you know why? Because we have no fear of the Lord. We have no fear. We continue to move the same way. Go ahead. Come on. Before it was just to that's a good point. That's good. It is recreational. You know why? You know why? Because we are a, we, we are suffering every. Listen, listen. That's like a, it's an outlet. It's an outlet. You you know that that's something. At least I can feel good right now in this situation right here, right? But but then yeah yeah. It's like drugs. It's like smoking weed. It's like all that stuff, right? But after you have sex and you get that ah oh after that, right? The same, you still gotta pay that bill. You still got you still got um you still got an eviction notice. You still got uh these problems over here. It just was a temporary escape. Right. But when you temporarily escape it's, and are in the midst of breaking the laws of God, check this out. At the end of the day, there's gonna be a judgment for that. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Read, read. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, and verse 4. Bring it up. Marriage is honorable in all. So, the author went over this earlier, right? Marriage is honorable in all. What does that mean, bro? What does that mean? Well, no, 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 I'm a, oh, wait a minute, let me finish. I want to read this. Read the whole thing. And the bed undefiled. Okay, so it said marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. You know, anybody know what that means? Because he went over it earlier. Yeah. What, you remember what it means? I wasn't here, man. Oh, you wasn't here? I found out the best idea, you get married to your girl until you have sex with your bed will be Right, exactly. Meaning, whatever you do in that bedroom is honorable in the, in the eyes of the Lord. Why? Because you are married. But when we are having sex outside of marriage, listen to the second part of what it says. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. God will judge. God will judge. Like you made an interesting comment, right? You said, "Listen, I, hey, I'm, uh, I'm coming as you know. Most high God said, come as you are.' Yeah, but he didn't say stay as you are. That's right. Did he? He didn't say stay as you are. He said come as you are because at the end of the day, obviously y'all don't have no fringes on. That's a law. That's a law of God, right? But are we gonna beat y'all down because y'all don't have fringes? This may be the first time y'all heard it, right? So now, but what do you have to do then? change and start putting fringes 
on your shirts. The border of blue and fringes. Why? Because that's a part of our heritage. Get that scripture. That's a part of our heritage. But the key thing that we love, right? Let me show you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a scripture that tells, uh, speaks to how we move. The one thing we love is knowledge. We love to know. We love to know something, but we hate the change. Right. And turn of uh, turn away. We yeah, yeah, come, yeah because it's so, hey, listen, let, let me explain something. It sounds good to say you are above all nations that are upon the face of the earth. Right. That that sounds good, right? That God chose you above that chose you above all nations. Remember, it didn't say religion, it said all nations. Because this Bible is about nations, not right. religions, right? You know. That sounds good. But then when you start hearing about what you have to do to return back to your nationality. In terms of keeping these laws and commandments, now it's like, oh, no, no, no. Y'all trust me, y'all trust me. See what I'm saying? Go ahead. We've been programmed. Exactly. We've been programmed from the very beginning. We've been lied to. Them pastors in these churches are lying every single day. Every single day. You know one of the main lies that they tell? is the fact that they meet on Sundays. They, they're breaking the Sabbath. They break the Sabbath, and they, 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 they're talking about first day of the week is the new Sabbath. No, the first day of the week is not the new Sabbath. The, the seventh day of the week has always been the Sabbath. Right. All right, come on. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Yeah. Yeah. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So, what nationality are y'all right now? Yeah, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. The right. brother looked at the sign, he said, I'm Benjamin. That's he right. didn't say Jamaican. Right. This is the changing of the mind. What, what nationality are you? Judas. Right. What nationality are you? Benjamin, that's what's yeah, up. That's right. See, what nationality are you? Judah, that's what's up. Say, hey, hey, let's just clap our hands for these brothers on that regard. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't identify with your nationality, this Bible and the laws and statutes of the land of This Bible and all the laws and commandments that are associated with it will mean nothing to you. You understand? Do you understand what I mean when I say that? If you don't, if, if, listen, let's check it out. If you do not make the connection right, to your nationality first, are you going to want to do anything this Bible says? Exactly. No. Because at the end of the day, what is it, what is it then? It's just religion. It's just, it's, just, it's, just, it's, just, it's, just, it's just another religion. It's just another bunch of niggas are reading the Bible, shouting at us. That's all it is. But when you start, when you connect people to their nationality and say that this is our heritage, the the the, 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 uh, the Israelites were black people in the, in this book. The God is black. The angels are black. Jesus is black. Right. Right. When you start associating it that way, right? Now you're like, oh, maybe I should really take into consideration what this Bible is saying. Right. right. Read. Book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Yeah. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments yep. throughout their generations. What well, it says throughout their generations, does that sound like it has an end to it? Throughout their generations means throughout their generations. We're still generating as a people, aren't we? All right, so keep on going. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. That's the reason, one of the reasons, yeah, the, the, the light came out like that, but like, ah, yeah. That's one of the reasons why the Most High God said, put fringes on your garment. Why? So that you can what? That ye may look upon it. You may look upon it and do what? And remember. And do what? And remember. And remember. All the commandments of the Lord and do them. And right. not remember and still keep on doing what you're about to do. Remember and do them. Right. So you about to get with a sister, you got her fringes, but you remember the Bible says marriage is honorable and all in the bed under file. Why am I about to smash this sister right now? Because what I'm about to do is I'm about to commit a, I'm about to commit fornication. I'm about to do, commit a horn a whoremonger act. So right then, if you do that, now what did the Bible say? God will, there's judgment for that. There's a different, all kinds of different judgments, right? STDs, that's a judgment. Uh, having a child out of wedlock. 
That's a judgment. Because now that's a life that you just brought into the world. And you know what? If you had, if you lay down with the wrong sister and had that baby, you and, and she's a demon, you're gonna be tied to her for the rest of your day on life. And you know one of the ways she's gonna be tied to you with is in your pocketbook. Right. That's how you're gonna be tied. And that's a judgment. And that little demon mate, that little child, let's say you come that you come into the knowledge and truth. Now you gotta share that child with this demon who's gonna do everything they can to not allow that child to come up in the law, statute, and commandments of the Most High God. I tell you right now. You see what I'm saying? So this is why the way we clean up our community is by turning back to law, statute, and commandments. Right. You understand what I'm saying? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.